What if time travel is actually possible? Each of these packets of cards represents a different era of time. The past, the present, and the future. In the past, these cards are all blank. They have yet to be printed. All four. Now, as you head into the present, the blanks have been printed into the four jokers. And in the future, since the jokers are wild, we've had these four cards transformed into the ace of spades. All the cards are aces of spades. All four cards are aces of spades. Now, although you can't see it, there is an invisible line separating these packets of time between the past, the present, and the future. And if a card could stray, should stray, it can transform into that time period. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here with this joker. If you take this joker and just wave it into the future, it turns into the future. And likewise, if you take this joker and just wave it into the past, it transforms into the past. Now that just leaves us with two jokers right here. I'm going to try and do them at the same time. Watch. To the past and future, and they change packs. Now the effects are only temporary, however, as if you let them set, bring them back to the respective time zone, and they transfer back into the four jokers. Now, there is a way to make this change permanent, and that is with an exchange of packs. Instead of just swapping them, you exchange them. Now, logically, these are the three aces, but the laws that govern time state that once a card crosses back to that time period, they must remain in that time period. Thus, they've gone back in time. That means these cards right here must now be the ace. To further prove time travel, they say if you change the past, you can change the present and future. So if we take an extra blank card and add it to the past, now we have one, two, three, four, five. That means we can change the present. So over here now, we have one, two, three, four, five jokers. And that leaves us with an even greater possibility in the future, whereas right here, we've got the ace, king, queen, jack, ten. That trick is called Back to the Future, and I want to give a special big thank you to Subtle Eyes for helping me with this trick immensely. And uh, I want you all to go check out his channel and watch his videos and subscribe. He's got some awesome videos. Uh, to learn, to see the spelling of his name, Subtle Eyes, just look in my description of the trick. Thank you very much and God bless.